Hello and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a bit more of a cute one. Uh, you'll know that from my previous video I was showing you how we had managed to hatch uh, a number of chicks and now we've had another batch of chicks. Now unlike in the last one we have altered the arrangements so far at the moment. So here is what we have deemed the maternity ward and in it we have basically a small compound and it's all fenced off so it means the chicks and the mother can be within proximity of the rest of the red chickens, the larger adult chickens, but they can still be safe and it also means that they can integrate a little bit better. So unfortunately at the start of this year we have had fox problems, really bad fox problems. We've lost a number of chickens including one of the uh, chicks. I will show you what the remainder of those chicks look like in a moment now that they're all grown up. So I'm going to show you what our very strange looking new chicks are. So here they are, our new little darlings. Now as you can see we have two distinct breeds. We had a sort of mixed batch of eggs when we were picking them up. So they're obviously they're not reds, they're not red bantams like the rest of them are and they certainly aren't the same breed as the other ones that we've had, the large black ones. So, the black ones with white and yellow dots are known as Cuckoo Morans, and the other brown ones are known as Golden Cuckoo Morans. Now, this is the mother that has gotten broody, so we decided to give her a batch of mixed eggs, and out of a batch of eight, we have these four. So at the moment it is 60-40% that each one of these will be a hen or a cockerel. So we're always hoping that against the odds that we'll have four hens and only one cockerel. So here they are, the surviving three with our cockerel. Now I don't know if you can tell which one has been attacked by the fox, but uh, sadly to report that I know in the original video I said we had five, but unfortunately now we're down to only these three who have survived to adulthood. One was sadly taken as a chick by a fox, and another one was forced out of the pen and disappeared when we tried to introduce the three of them to the rest of the chickens whilst they were too young. So as a result, we are keeping the chicks in the maternity unit until they are big enough to handle their own. Okay, so here we have what the pen now looks like, as is. So this is the main pen where most of the adults live, and this is where we hatch the original five. Uh, so we're not going to be doing that anymore. From now on we are going to be using this maternity ward, which we also use for if we have any sick chickens, or if we have any chickens that need to be separated, or for when they get broody. We can allow them to lay their eggs, well not such as lay their eggs, but hatch the eggs in peace. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day, so now everyone's gone back inside. So hopefully now we'll be able to let you have a little bit more of a closer look at our new chicks. Hello. Right. Come on. Let's get over the way. Hello. Right. So this is our Cockatoo Moran. As you can see, grey with white and yellow. Aren't they adorable? Okay, so that's one type. Say hello! Hmm? Let's see if you can't get one of your other siblings. There you go. That's you, yeah. Come on, come on. There we go. Yep. There you go. Now, this one. Oh, golden cockatoo Moran. Quick note, I was uh, incorrect when I said the names of those two uh, breeds of chicken. It's actually a, a cuckoo Moran, 
and a uh, golden cuckoo moran. Um, I seem to have got them confused with cockatoo and cuckoo. Uh, I don't get it either why the where we're calling two bird species of chicken a different bird species, but there you go. Back to the video. So I think we're calling this one squirrel because um, I think yes, uh, the it was one of these that was the first ones to hatch. Uh, you're just, uh, oh, there you go. You're just perching there, aren't you? There you go. Oh, you're a lot calmer than the other ones, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you lovely? So, obviously, we don't know what they'll look like, what kind of uh, plumage they'll have when they get older. Um, I think it's just going to have to be a bit more googling to find out um, what they're going to look like. So for now, we're just going to en enjoy them while they have their more soft downy hair. So, like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you again later. Say goodbye! Mm -hmm.